Dirt jumpers. You've heard about them, seen them, but do you actually need one? Let's talk about my top five reasons of why everyone must have one. Hey everyone, Josh here again with Daily Mountain Bike Rider. And as a lot of you know, I recently got my stolen dirt jumper back and it's reignited my love for riding my dirt jumper all over again. So I was coming off of a seven day binger of riding it every day. And I realized most people don't have one, but everyone really should own a dirt jumper. So me and my YouTube friend, Paul the Punter, check his channel out here if you haven't yet, of course, headed down to my local pump track to show you the top five reasons why everyone should own one. Now, it was a super windy day, so a lot of the audio was, well, garbage. In fact, as soon as Paul started talking, everything started going south. It's Paul the Punter. So I'll be popping in here and out as needed, but let's get it right into it. All right, the top reason that everybody should get a dirt jumper is I feel that dirt jumping is one of the best ways to get better at cornering. Corners are one of those things in mountain biking that give you momentum, help you keep speed, and the more you can work on it, the better you can get on any trail, at any pace, even setting up for big jumps. And at dirt jump tracks like this one, there's corners everywhere, and you can just on a repeat practice totally railing them, shropping them, whatever you want to do. Let's go see if we can get Paul to work on and talk to us about his cornering technique. All right, Paul, honesty hour. How good would you say you are at cornering? Cornering? Yeah. Like five out of 10. Oh, nice. And you worked on this recently in one of your videos, didn't you? Oh, link up here. All right, Paul, so I just told everybody corners are one of the best reasons, learning how to corner better to get a dirt jumper. Would you yeah. agree or disagree? Well, definitely if we go around berms. Yeah. Because there's not like corners. Oh, yeah. It's, it's berms. But it's definitely just like, it's a great way of understanding how you can generate speed from the ground. Paul, let's go find a difficult corner and see how well you do. A right or a left hander? Whatever you want. All right, we found our good corner right here. We're gonna see how Paul does. He's gonna practice it going to the right. He's gonna see which way he does this thing better. All right, coming into it to the left. I'm not uh, leaning the bike over. Mm. Leaning my body over. So it sounds like you need to do some uh, reps, Paul. And the great thing is that we only have to go from there to here, not up a massive mountain. That's true. Once again, dirt jumpers. Reason number two everyone needs a dirt jumper is it helps you learn how to pump. Pumping is the same technique like on a swing. It helps you go higher and faster. And on a bike, this helps you keep your momentum on a trail, sets you up for features, and overall helps you have a smoother, faster, more enjoyable ride. Going to a pump track like this one helps you a ton in learning how to pump and get the most speed out of everything you're doing. This section is actually a better example of how a pump track can help you pump because you can come up this, like a roller like this, and you can get the momentum down and figure out your speed and then you can start trying to gap from here to here or from up here to down here. It all helps a ton. Speaking of gaps, reason number three everyone should have a dirt jumper is that it helps you learn to jump. After you've learned how to pump and you're getting speed out of corners, the next natural thing to do is try to connect those two pumps and instead of pumping both of them, jumping to the next one. All right, so me and Paul are about to start practicing jumping and I have a question for somebody around here who's a little better than us. You might notice this lady right here. Jill, I notice you have something that I make fun of Paul for all the time and that's a front brake on your dirt jumper. Why do you have that? Are you gonna make fun of me too? I mean, I, <laughs> if I make fun of you, you'll show me up in every way. So yeah, why a front brake? Um, I just think you can stop a little bit quicker. There's more power, like, I don't know. I just, have, all my bikes have back brakes. So I don't understand why you'd have just one on this bike. Does it make you faster is the real question. It slows you down faster. You heard it here first, Jill Kittner says, front brakes make you faster. Or, or slower. <laughs> or, or both, yeah, perfect. All right, we got a perfect little double here. We're really lucky to have like a little jump like this at the pump track, but two rollers will make this possible too. Oh. So Paul just watched Jill do this line, and his response was, oh, I got that. There's a double right here, and then a double out of it. We'll see if he's got it. 
So this is the jump I think is going to be tough for him. No, I don't want to. <laughs> why am I ever here? This is actually showing my number four tip of why everybody should buy a dirt jumper. Because coming to a pump track like this, there's gonna be people who are way better than you. Um, people who are just starting out in the camaraderie and the community to push you to be better. This is a prime example of, we have Joe Kittner here, one of the, the best in the world at pump tracks. Then we have Paul and I, who are learning, getting tips from her, she's showing us lines. Progression is the best thing and community is the best way to get it. Let's see if Paul's got this, Jill's gonna tow him in. It's, it's hard. It's hard to follow somebody who's way better than you, but it pushes you. It's quite technical. I think it's not about speed. It's very tech, so we'll see if you can get it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You know when somebody's really good when you, ma it, you make something look easy, and then somebody else tries it, and you realize that's way more technical than you realize. Yeah, I don't know. This one is pretty tricky. Is it? <laughs> don't, don't tell Paul. Just let him keep trying. Hey. Ah! Oh. It's so hard. This is where I tell you that um, off camera, Jill told me, she goes, this looks easy, but it's extremely technical. It's so hard. <laughs> I think I could, can I count that I got over two? Yes, we'll Just give done. you two. All right, two Josh. out of three. Let's see you. Okay, it's Josh following Jill. Gonna give it a go. Whoop. Go. Yeah. If you if you hear sound, it doesn't count. <laughs> then I've never done anything good in my you life. You have to get like perfect. <laughs> if you hear that, boys and girls, if you hear sound after you do something, it doesn't count. And last but not least, reason number five, everyone should have a dirt jumper, is the ability to repeat the same features over and over again. Just like Paul and I have been showing, when you first do something, you're not that great at it, but the more you can do it, the more reps you get in, the better and better you feel. This is the same thing out on mountain bike trails, but the problem is it's really difficult to repeat sections of trails. So that's why everybody, even pros like Jill Kittner, are out here working on things, doing the same sections over and over again. All right, everybody, that about wraps up our time at the pump track. Paul, do we both agree? Everybody should get a DJ. Yeah, sure. No, like a music one, like a DJ bike. Imagine if you had a real DJ here while you were using your DJ. While you're DJ. That'd be awesome. All right, that's about it. You know what time it is. Don't spend too much time watching me and Paul be Joey's here out on the pump track. Check out our podcast, by the way, if you haven't yet. Oh my God, is this the first time you've ever shouted out? I haven't told people about the amazing podcast, the Joey podcast. Look at the link down below. It's a beautiful time where me, Paul, and Shane from the Crashing Dad get Shanae. together and um, talk about all things. Not, yeah, that's not, it. All things not mountain bike. <laughs> exactly. Get uh, out and ride your bike every day. Uh, Is that the sign off? Oh gosh, she stole it, man. Yeah.